my mama always told me, hey, be careful who you hang around. Be careful who you hang around. Uh, sexually transmitted entities. Sexually transmitted entities. Explain. I've been seeing a topic on, uh, you know, how to have sex. Should I have sex with this person? Etc. So I'm going to break it down right now. When you are being uh, normal, when you're not having sex, you are actually building up some type of energy to have sex, all right? So let's first touch on the topic of no sex partners, right? If you have no sex partners, that means you want to have sex with yourself. Hmm? Means you want to masturbate or you know do some type of sexual activity with yourself. That's cool, but remember that the act, the whole act of sex in itself, is the law of attraction. Okay, so you doing a law of attraction times whatever. Okay, so if you already know, if you surround yourself with positive energy, there's going to be some type of residual of positive energy right there. Okay, so what you got to do is remember that when you masturbate, whatever you're doing as you're collecting, as you're collecting that pleasure, it's attracting everything that you're visit, everything that you're influencing at that time. Okay, so for example, you watch porn. Okay, you watch porn. You watch pornography. There's nothing wrong with that. Even the Bible say, "Hey, pornography. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just an act of how creation is made." Okay, just don't don't take that too far though. Don't get addicted. But when you when you watch a porn, if you watch porn and you masturbate, that influence is gonna be times whatever. Okay, so say times two, times five, you you masturbate to some white BBW. Okay, so you you masturbate to some white BBW. Right? Out of nowhere. A day later, two days later, a week later, a month later, you see a white BBW right in front of you, right in front of your eyes. Now, it's it's really up to you how, you how you play that. Because the more that you please yourself, the more that you have sex with yourself, the more that yourself will show you what you was doing when you was having that sex. Okay, so if you don't watch porn, you just masturbate. Whatever you're visually thinking about in your mind, whatever you're visually thinking about, whatever is influencing you at the time, right? You're manifesting that into reality. That that cycle chakra, I'm gonna get on this in my next videos, but that that energy in your stomach, that energy right there is for putting the things in your mind into the earth. Okay, so you put the things in your mind into reality. You know how you say what you speak, you speak into existence. Not everybody has that. Everybody don't have the speak into existence. Okay, so when you're having sex with yourself, you are manifesting whatever you're thinking into existence. Okay, so okay. Ooh, this this chocolate woman. This chocolate woman with a curvy body. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about this. I'm not watching porn, but this chocolate woman with a curvy body having sex with myself, right? Next thing I know, I go outside. 
I go to the mall. I go wherever. I see this chocolate curvy woman. I kid you not. Okay, so you are, you are attracting whatever you're doing as you're having sex with yourself. Now that can be good or bad because one day you could think about a chocolate curvy woman and the next day you could think about a whole nother entity that's going to be right there next to you. You see what I'm saying? You could be thinking about a whole nother entity that's going to be right next to you. In this whole loop of process, how do you get rid of those entities? You see what I'm saying? So be careful uh, when you're having sex with yourself because it could just be for no reason. It could just be for no reason. And for no reason, some type of entity was in your mind or some type of influence was in your mind. Maybe you was thinking about School, school stress you out, plus this entity. That's times two of uh, a sexual entity that is negative, okay? So that's the math behind masturbation. You have to control it to a manner to where you have this one, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things to yourself that's showing you something about yourself that you can manifest into this reality, all right? Masturbation is perfectly fine. Masturbation is perfectly fine. Okay, don't think God gonna punish you because you're pleasing yourself. No, God gonna punish you because you pleasing yourself seven <laughs> times a week. And you ain't even talking to him, but that's on another level.